your biggest hit, Cher Shayla Ghost, right? Is that is that your biggest hit? Um, I would say a lot of people recognize it. That's got to be the biggest one, right? That's, yeah. Like radio hit? Well, as a DJ it is. It's the one that I can play at any it's a party. party. It's a, it's, yeah. yeah, because all ghost joys you can't play in a party. That one you can play, so it'll get a more lifespan. But it's funny because that song is a party banger, but when you first heard it, I didn't think of it as a party banger. It was just a dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't chase a hit. Your right. one hit, right. it just happened to be a... Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that came in the last, the yeah, ninth hit, hit. hit. You know, the term hit with, with Ghost is like, it's different. Yeah, you know, like, there are plenty yeah. of hits, but yeah. they're not. We talking about the radio record company trying to get a hit hit. You know what right. I'm saying? I would Everything say that was, a, and I would say in terms of that, in terms of that kind of hit, Cher Shayla Ghost would be the one. Yeah. Whereas well, you have plenty Neo of joint, hits. The Neo to, joint was big, was right? Saying. Oh, the Neo joint. The yeah. Neo joint was pretty big. Right, yeah. Got a lot yeah, of yeah, you. Yeah. The joint? All that I got is All you. All that I got is you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He oh, right. yeah, that's he a right. whole nother. That's he right, yeah. That's that was yeah, a big hit. Good. That was in, like, the Hot 97, you know, crazy days. That was a super heavy rotation yeah, hit. Hell yeah. Right. But the Neo joint was awesome, too. Right. Uh, yeah, it was, you know, it was just, you know, <laughs> he got little ones here and there. You know what I mean? Man, fuck it, man. Let's talk about mean? Malcolm, yeah. man. making records. Let's man. talk about Malcolm. Let's talk about Nutmeg. Let's talk about fucking Wildflowers, son. Yeah. Wildflowers. Wildflower. She, you know Wildflower? Nah, yo. You don't know Wildflower? Nah, what's the one you know it if you hear it. You know it if you hear it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the most vulgar rap yeah, song yeah, of all yeah, time. Yeah, I love that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. He still performed that joint. Yeah, we performed that shit. Crazy. on stage and shit. Yeah. Do they love it? Do people go crazy? I mean, yeah, the ones that recognize it, yeah, they they know that shit. You know what I mean? I be singing along and shit. We rapping together and shit. I be singing like a fan and shit. That's because uh, we're DJs. Yeah. Like the thing about DJs is that we see, we look at titles because we get the records and all that, mm -hmm. and yeah. we read the titles. But you never say "Wildflower" in the song, really. Like it's not the hook. Nah, mm -hmm. just so song. people don't call it that. <laughs> yeah, but, but we see, know when you look, look at, at when you look. Yeah, you listen, think ho. But if you listen to <laughs> if you listen to New Birth, New Birth, Wildflower, you know what I mean? Then you can understand. You the know, original what I mean? one. She was up. a sweet and gentle flower, but just going wild. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, and you know, it just came. It's wildflower. I'll tell you what should have been a in terms of the smooth out ghost joints, that early smooth out ghost joints, don't sleep on Cam May either. Cam May is fine. Woo! Oh, Cam May. Yeah, this, your man yeah, came yeah, in. yeah. Your yeah. Man, before he got married, he's like, yo, this is my song I'm dancing yeah, to. Yeah, His yeah, wife yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. nah. Son, no, nah. I told her the first thing I said was, yeah. I'm, as God is my witness, my girl, I've told you this before, my girl loves baby. We love that song. Right. And I said, honey. When we first started to get married, I was like, babe, can I get Ghostface to come perform Baby at the wedding? Right. She was like, honey, I love that song, but we're not doing a song about having a baby at the <laughs> right, wedding. Right, right, she was like, right, we're not right, having right, a baby. Right. But I will tell you, that is going to be the anthem of me having a child. We right. will be playing Baby right. in the I'm hospital. In his, I'm in his wedding right. waiting yeah, for yeah, Cam yeah. to come on, I son. I was, oh, I, shit. It was the moment. That's live, though. That's live, Yo, though. I'm, uh, Ghostface, you gave me my only, my only battle DJ routine. Cause I never was a battle DJ, but okay. there's one. Is it from Protect Your Neck? One line is from Criminology. Cause he goes dealing in my oh, cipher. I'll revolve I'll around, around scientists. Uh -huh. So I used to be like cipher. I revolve around cipher. I revolve around. Ooh. Cypher, oh yeah, 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 I never, I never yeah, won yeah, no, yeah. No. Nah, that's what it is. But I have one. I have yeah. one. That's what it is. But let me tell you something though. When you listen to all our early woo shit and all that shit like that, you could never play that shit in the club. Like that, and I say that is because you know when you try to throw it on, is is you know, RZA at that time? I mean, even still, you know, what I mean, his ears is burnt out. You know what I mean? He don't know how to EQ like that. <laughs> what do Check you mean? You think RZA doesn't EQ shit that's right for a party? Listen to the listen. Listen, put ice cream on against one of his joints. I, me and him do the show together. His shit blows my shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Nah, you know not, what I mean? It's not. It's like, it ain't it's like, and Ray, and Ray always used to tell him, like, yo, man, our shit got to be, you see how Puff shit sounding? Yeah, our but... shit got to be clear and, and big. Mm -mm. Our shit was just, like, made for a tape. Mm. See, but RZA, yeah, but, but, RZA, but RZA's vision made sense for what ultimately worked for your fan base. Right. He was thinking about, I, no, this is what our right, people but want. But even if RZA... He still never tried to it make it been the be same, big. Though, man. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the same. It was because it, it did sound its like own sound. yeah, yeah, created his own sound. Yeah, but it's like, but like now that. when I gotta go ahead and be on stage with him, it's yeah, like, no. yo, this nigga shit is yeah, just like is it's knocking, yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 and yeah. my shit is down here. That's yeah. very interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I yo, like the yeah. Of it. yo, what did um, 
I just read a thing about what or was it Rizza who told us or did I just read about Rizza having a different mic for Ghost? No, I never heard that. Yeah, when I did Mighty Healthy, I had I had a <laughs> I, I took an old school mic because I wanted my shit to sound like uh, oh, yeah. it was in the feet. park. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Like we was really in the park and shit like that. And then for a couple, I think uh, I think some other shit because I, I had a few rhyming over some breaks and I just wanted to be like yo because that's what I do. I get in there and I. I'd be like, yo, give me that MC Shan voice. You know what I mean? Right. Like how he had his yeah, mic. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Whatever how they had their mics. And stuff. I don't just like a regular mic. Well, you I, can't think Rizza, I think Rizza felt, I heard Rizza say that. I think he felt like other people. And you know, listen, I, and this is why I love Rizza, because yeah. I think he's so, he keeps you all so near and dear to him, that he felt like he understood how to produce your sound the right. way it was meant to sound. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't right. necessarily think that every other engineer and producer you got with right. understood the same way to get your vocals. Right. So I give him that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. d d but do you guys, you guys would beef with him about shit too? Like, you'd be like, "Yo, I'm not fucking with this," and have a. Oh back no, 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 no. See, with me, it's like you got my crew. You know what I mean? But I'm like a different dude. Like, you know what I mean? It's like I take it. I, I I'm like, look at that. Look, I look at everything like a scientist too. Like, he from the, like I told you, it's from the mic on down. You know what I mean? But a lot of guys, I never really heard them complain. I don't know how they do now. You know what I mean? But back then, in 36 Chambers, it, it wasn't like nobody wasn't, not talking about the album, talking about the studio. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Nobody wasn't really complaining. They just, you just go in there and you just, you might be like, turn my mic up or try to get me a little bit more crispy. But I but I know, I, I knew a lot of times on what I wanted. Like, you know what I mean? Here's my question. How do you decide to make a record like Holla? Where you go, yo, just let that play, shit play. And they yeah. go, oh, you want me to loop it? And you go, no. Let the entire song over play. The all the lyrics. <laughs> yeah. Bobby Womack um, singing it. Ain't how does that happen? Over the whole I, Curtis I Mayfield. did that. The whole oh, song. Man. I did that. I first did that <coughs> when I was like 17, 18. You know what I mean? Back then, before Wu-Tang ever started. You know what I mean? I'm with my man, uh, R&S. He did. He did, He the producer that made uh. Who made uh, a lot of classics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shaheem and you know, uh, uh, Blue Cheese and them and all that. You know what I mean? I didn't know he did. He, yeah. He produced UMCs. Yeah, he yeah, did some beats. Yeah. Oh, I, think, I didn't I know think that. That might have been his joint. Oh wow. So 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 so. But I was young though. You know what I mean? And I rhymed off of it. Just your imagination. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, yo, yo. And you would just jump on and but rhyme it on was it. It's like I rhymed on it. But you know what? I I like those. I like that music more than I like. <laughs> Hip hop beats and all that shit. You'd rather it's, just it's, it's those beats first, then break beats, then regular hip hop beats. Shit. Yo, Saif, why don't we present? Why don't you and I, Juan Epstein, do a mixtape with Ghostface where he rhymes and only over songs like that? Show. Yo, listen, and we man. put on a concert with it. Listen, Ghost, so I had, to, I had to, I had to, I had to save us from this. That I had to, I'm going. I had to life. perfect that. See, when I was doing, when I was when when I did, cause I did. Remember the other joint. I want to go outside. Mm -hmm. When I did that on Supreme Clientele, mm -hmm. they took it off, though. You know what I mean? Uh, they had took it off, though. You had some versions with it on and some versions with it off. Well, I was surprised well, I you cleared one. the one for Holla. I'm surprised they cleared that. That was a Bobby Womack record? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, that's, that's, um, that's Delphonics. And then they cleared it? And they cleared yeah, you using the entire got, song? Yeah, they might have wanted. See, me, I'm the type of dude, I love my fans. So a lot of times I never got no publishing from a lot of these albums. Like really, nah, I really I don't see how you could. I never even got a piece of publishing, nigga. Yeah, because the samples are yeah. nigga. Let me tell you something. All yeah, the because reasons. because 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 <laughs> it's like wow, it's shit. It. Because it's like I love to give them like what they know me for. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like a lot of times I sacrificed just to be like, yo, you know what? Nah, fuck that, man. Word. Mike said they want to, yo, he wants 100% of publishing from that song. But if I feel that song is fat yeah. and it's going to make the album, and, and, I mean, you will. I think motherfuckers are just like, you know what, man? Man, give it to me. Because let me tell you something. A lot of times with these companies, you never see a back end. Right. Never, ever, ever. They promise you that shit. We give you, you take this little bit of, and we give you this on the back end after the album is complete. You never see a fucking back end. It's a game, yo. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But for my fans, I always wanted them to feel me. So if I, but Barry White didn't clear that watch sample. So that's why it's not on what you want to call it. But if he wanted that 100% published, I would have gave him that just publishing. To the the just to put the watch on it. You know what I mean? And make the album more like, oh shit, that's a solid album. You know what I mean? And that's just what I, that's just what I do, yo. You know what I mean? And that's, and that's why it. we love you, Ghost. That's why that's we it. love Ghost. You know? That's we know, we know that's what you do. Like, yeah.
And look, but the fans don't know that I don't get that, right. like, nigga, yeah, I'm not getting paid for this shit from y'all right. niggas. So it's like, yo, motherfucker, I'm doing this shit. Y'all motherfuckers better go cop my shit, yo. Exactly. Come to the fucking concert, buy yeah, a ticket. Or some and shit. You know what I mean? So that's what it is and shit. But enough about me, man. <laughs> Woo block. Woo block. You, know, you bringing my shit you back. Know I mean? talking, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Woo block. Woo block. You know what I mean? No, because you know what? Let me tell you something. Hung over Let me tell you something. Yeah, she was happy. She was happy. She's proud, though. No, because what it was, though. It was like, it's like, I love these brothers, B. And, no, and working with him, yo, it's like the chemistry, it yeah. was just like, it's like, it's like he from Yonkers, I'm from the, Staten, but it just seemed like, yo, nigga, it's, it, it's like, that's my brother, B. Yo, it felt like we the same when, niggas. Y'all, when y'all hooked up, <laughs> when y'all first hooked up and y'all started doing music together, I said, this makes perfect sense. Right. Y'all like the same type of dude, similar right. styles, right. similar rhymes, mm-hmm. similar similar person in the group you're in. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's in Locks, D-Block, you in Wu-Tang. Right. But when y'all do your solo stuff, I can see how... It's like it's like Meth and Red. Okay. It's like okay. Meth and Red are very similar. Right, They're right, the wild right. ones of the group. The, yeah. the, Smoke out yeah. niggas, all that shit. Yeah. Then when Sheik and Ghost came together, I was like, this makes perfect. And then the name is just ill, like Wu-Block. Oh, baby. That was his all name. You? That's all you? Tim, yeah. he brought that to the table, you know what I mean? And it sounded like that's what it was when he said it, you know what I mean? Because we posted this at the fish scale right. with a different name, you know what I mean? Like, yo, yo, he's like, yo, let's do Gorillas in the Mist. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I'm yeah. like, all right, yeah, that's right. all right, cool, that. you know what I mean? But, you know, it should never get to happen, you know? But then when we did this fucking tour and we brought it back up and then, yo, he came with that Woo Block shit, it was like... Now, are there a lot, when you go on the road together, are there like... There's Lox fans and there's yeah. Woo fans, like, right. and they are fine together. Like, there's no like. Yeah, they love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got hits. Yeah, you that's what that, it is. That yeah, but they got like hard records, right? Yeah, y'all got yeah. hard records that y'all did in the past. You did in the past. Yeah. Then y'all both got R&B type joints. No doubt for the chicks. Right. The, the, the girls. Yeah. Good love. Yeah, yeah. Good, good love. 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 That's my joint. What was the other one? Yeah, man. So it's like. It's like you yeah, watching this. They be this bugging. We'll hit them with ice cream, then come in with the Benjamins and this and that, then Reservoir Dogs. Like, we be. Oh, that's a lot yo, of you. That's, yeah. a, that's a good show. Do y'all do yeah. the yo. shows together? Yeah. Yeah. Like, man. on stage at on the same time. Same time. Same time. Same time. I'm there oh, ad libbing on this shit. Yeah. Catching who, my and shit. who DJs for you guys? Technician. Tech. Check. Yeah, check. Now, Shout out to Tech. You, now, you guys, this album's got obviously Ghost and Sheik on everything, but there's a bunch of Ray. There's Capadonna. Yeah. Styles P and Jada. Of course, you're yeah. on here a few times. Master Killer, Jizza, and Erica Jizza. Badu are on Driving yeah. Around. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a hip hop head. She must have yeah, been. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Erica. She's, well, she's incredible, B. Yeah, she's yeah, incredible. a hip hop goddess. Incredible. When you look into her eyes, like, something Yo, strange look, happens. You yeah. talking about Erica. You ever, is, she, is she 5% of like, she, she has knowledge, mm, right? She's a, she's, a, she's a very, she's a smart wisdom. You know what I mean? <laughs> that first song she ever yeah. put out got mad little 5% right. quotes she gotta, in it. Yeah, like, yeah, because was she from Philly? Or, or where? From Dallas. Uh, t- Dallas. 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 Yeah, she just got that. She, she the- got that soul because she be around that circle that know what time it is. Yeah. They not stupid. She ain't stupid. You no, know what I mean? A lot of, lot yeah. of joints. Yeah, yeah she ain't stupid. She's the whiz, Fox. Yeah. She is. She's a whiz. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're my yeah. whiz, Fox. Aww. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> um, uh, then you got there's meth. Um, oh, I wanted to ask a meth question before because I was having a conversation the other day, right? I was talking to um, someone about Pro Era, which is um, this kid Joey Badass's new crew. And Joey Badass out of Brooklyn, a lot of people talking about this kid, yeah, a lot of hope for this kid, right? Him, yeah. And they have a very, they have a great New York feel that reminds you of the old days. And I was saying to them that he's in this place where he's trying to put on everyone in the crew, right? So every time there's an interview and they, you know everyone wants to talk to him, he's like, nah, talk to my man. And I was saying to his management, I'm like, he needs to learn that he needs to blow the fuck up First. so he can get them so on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, And yeah, I was yeah, like, that's yeah, the yeah. way That's the way it is sometimes. You got to ride. Yeah. Everyone knows that you're down for the team, but if people want to interview with you, don't bore them with people they don't know yet. Right, right. They're right. going to get, let them right, care right. about you're, them. You're right, you're right, you're and right. I, and you're I, right, I, I right. thought about Wu-Tang in the early days and how when y'all first came out, the clear front runner at the very beginning was Meth. <laughs> like when yeah. it first started, there, Meth was this like kind of star who who jumped out. Right. Was there ever any moments of anyone in the crew feeling salty or ways about it, they or did everyone out like they kicked out Busta from L O N S? Exactly, because because Busta <laughs> dealt with that with L O N S. Or did everyone kind of understand Meth's getting it going? Let's ride. Everybody understood. Well, wasn't th- wasn't that the first single? Yeah, it was the yep. first single off the yep. album. Yep. 
I remember because yeah. I was chilling on the stoop at PAL. Okay. Somebody jumped out of a truck and handed me a cassette tape. Right. That said M E T H O D man. And I was like, oh my God, I got a free tape. Yeah. I was just hype off the free tape. tape right. the and then I was like, oh shit, this shit is hot. Yeah. What? Right. We're the first one on our block to hear yeah. Method Man. But that's right. a good question. Did anyone say, why is this the first single? This song about just meth? Why is this nah, the first single? No, we sat in the room and we just, we just, we just, uh, you know, Meth was the hottest. He was just the hottest. Even out the clan, he was just, you know, you know, that that single right there, that was, it wasn't, it, we didn't argue about it or nothing. We just sat there and was like, yo, this is what we going everybody. with. Yeah, this is what we going with. He's the he's the dude. You know what I mean? And whoever came after him just came after him. Like, when I, I was the, like, the what? The protect fifth, Your Neck fifth, was out first. Down down well, it was, it was Protect Your Neck and, and Method Man were no, together, protect right? Protect Your Neck and After the Laughter. Yeah. Oh, that was the first, 12, first, the first, 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 first right. one. Yeah, but yeah, Loud's yeah. first single right. then when they was went loud, Protect was Your Neck, neck Method, Method Man. Man. Right. Yeah. Did you and Ray have a conversation about his album being like, hey, it's going to be featuring you, or did it just work out that way? Listen, man, it just worked out that way. That's just what it was. Ray was doing the album. Me and Ray was, you know, on our shit. You know what I mean? There's only one song and, with just Ray yeah. on it. Yeah. <coughs> Two songs. Is it incarcerated. Knowledge and, God. Oh, Knowledge God. Knowledge, no. Yeah, Knowledge God. Uh, and Incarcerated Scarfaces. No. Yeah, but it's more. There's one more? One? He got... uh. Uh, the one with the, the last record that's on it, and he got uh, he got um, line for line, line for line, line yo. Oh, that's wisdom, yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. wisdom Body. Yeah, no, it's not Wisdom Body. It's not. No, it wasn't Body. What's that one it's called? Just, that. Um, Hold on, I'm looking up. Feel me, story telling, rap Magellan. You ain't <laughs> telling me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So that one, and he got the other one though. The other one. So there's like Papa three. Where Papa Wu talking? Oh, oh right, 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 right. Yeah. So there's like right, three, right. four, three or four. It's four. And and there's what seventeen on there, so you're still, but you're throughout yeah. that whole album. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is yeah, it yeah, is yeah. that up there among your favorites too? Cuban. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Purple Cuban, tape. Cuban, yeah. The purple tape, B. Nicholas. Cuban is the one so that we, that that uh, um that uh, you know it 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 it, it 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 got me going, yo. Cuban got me going. You know what I mean? I could never front on Cuban, and that vibe that we was in on that album was crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how I know. It's just it's the vibe. On what's going on, yo? I, I know it. That what makes a good album, and shit. And yo, when we, when we mastered that shit and we listening to that shit, niggas ran right into a deer on the expressway. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga slid off the windshield. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vine hit the deer. It was like, yo, deer yeah, snot man. and everything was on the motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> yeah, B. Yo, big. <laughs> like, yo, I'm yo. Deer snot. Yo, all that shit was on the windshield. I'm it's like, yo, have niggas. Song song it was, it was like, yo, yo. But that, we listening to Ice Water too. That's what we knew it was like, it was some shit. Uh -huh. But um, but yeah, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. And the dead came, bang. <laughs> who do you who do you talk to in Wu Tang the most? Uh, probably Ray. Probably probably Ray. And uh, is it, like you talk to him, like do you text with him. Like how does that work? Yeah, we text. We text. You know. Y'all fam families know each other. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My family knows. Yeah, sisters and everything. Yeah, you know what I mean. And um um um, RZA, RZA, you know what I mean, here and there. Um, you know, cause of course that's my brother-in-law. You know what I'm saying? RZA's your brother-in-law? Yeah. Which way? Yeah, I got he, baby by a sister. You I got children. Not say babies. You know what I mean? You have children with RZA's sister. Yeah, okay. exactly. Got you. So you, know you guys I mean? are tied together. Yeah, from the beginning. Yeah, so you're his, you know that's his mean? niece's and nephew. His, his yes, niece and nephew. He's the uncle to your kids, so that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so y'all are family. Yeah, yeah. Wu Tang Punch. Yeah, yeah. Wu -Tang <laughs> punch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, 
Yeah, B. So is Rizzo the same? He seemed the same to us. Like even though he's you know he's a movie star now, he's directing his yeah. own major motion pictures. Yeah. He's, is he the same cat? Same cat. <laughs> same cat. Same smart cat. Anything. Still humble. Still still give you you know what I mean whatever 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 you know what I mean. He ain't changed though. But isn't it funny, Sife, that yeah. Wu Tang? Wu Tang has always seemed like one of the crews you know not to fuck with ever in life is the Wu Tang Clan. Mm. Yet they have the most tame, polite disagreements that's how, that's, within that's the crew. How real street right. Like are. it's crazy. Like when y'all have disagreements, it'll be out in the public. Like they'll say, "Oh, RZA said this," but it never gets elevated. It's just like nah, someone says this. Someone says this. It's 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 that's your brother, B. That's your that's your that's your brother, man. You know what I mean? And and, and not for nothing, a lot of things that were going on in the family. Usually supposed to be kept within the family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Ain't really supposed to be like whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's it. You know what I mean? I would never be out there, even though we had little court issues and all that. But I would never go out there and try to trash him in front of everybody. Yo, fuck him and and this and that and the third. It's like nah, hell no, baby. You know what I mean? Because when we get together, you it wasn't you know you know niggas argued. And shit like that, and it never got to no ever blowns ever being thrown, and and remember, and at the end of the day, man, we was put together for this shit. You know what I mean? It's like I might have went to school with you, but you might not have been my homeboy. You know what I mean? Cause I'm over here with my crimes, B. But that's what's so interesting. You that's what, what I was mean? saying. The cyphers. You go to a Wu Tang show, <coughs> all these years later, you have eight, nine different people who all have their own family, right? Their own crews, right? Their, their own, own shit, yeah. Like, and you could some of it was obvious, like you had Theodore unit, like everyone had their different shit, right? But it, that's complicated. That becomes complicated relationships to, you know to I mean, navigate. Wheelchair dudes just gotta be on stage. At a Minimum wheelchair. five wheelchair guys. Eight kids, <laughs> five wheelchairs. <laughs> that's it, the Wu Tang yeah. show is not starting. Is D Block too? Yes. D Block show or Wu Tang show ain't starting until at least two or three <laughs> guys roll up in the wheelchair. Now here's the question I have about wheelchair guys. Are they actually legitimately in the wheelchair? Some of them I've heard recently to go. Yeah. Someone said to me, goes, they're not really in wheelchairs. Some, yeah. That's yeah. where they stay strapped. Who do y'all get this shit from? This, oh, is, that's crazy. this is what we study. Yeah. Look at this face. Yeah. This is the that's shit crazy. we study. My favorite crazy. Wu story uh, ever, and this, this is alleged. You could deny it. This is what I heard. <laughs> I heard somebody was talking greasy. They roughed them up, right? Boom, bang, bing, boom, boom. On the floor, something about a closet. Boom, boom, boom. When it was all done, picked them up, cleaned them off. Straighten his hair around and say, you know we had to do that. Now we all straight, right? Cool. Humble. That humble. <laughs> yeah. now, oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, you wild. Does, yeah. Does any, did anyone actually try to test the woo, though? Was there ever another crew or any? Trouble Neck Brothers. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> the Trouble Neck Brothers? Did they anyone, just had a lot of members. Did so. anyone ever try to step to woo? No, nah, not really. Like, y'all never had any real dust-ups with other rappers? Nah, nah, not that, not like that, nah. Nine hundred D, man. Nah, what about like you guys? That. What about D Block? Nah, man. Nah, man. Not really. No real problems like that. Mm -mm. We, nah, they real, man. We get at that shit quick though. We don't even let it ride too long. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know how you guys get down. Well, I don't really know, but I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did hear a great, I did hear a great story from Karen Rate recently about you guys in the parking lot outside of a signing in like 1990. Us? You. Yeah. Well, we did. Locks. Yeah, well, we Do you remember this? You and Karen Rate in the Interscope days, that? obviously, and it was a promo appearance at a hood spot in like a strip mall, mm -hmm. and in the parking lot, it started out as fans, and then it started getting Police crazy. And and then she was inside. Y'all were getting outside the car. Like, you sit tight. Yeah. And it was just... Yeah. The good old days. The good old <laughs> days of madness. Do you still enjoy what you do, though? Hip hop? Making these music? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Like, you I said the good old days. No, no, I mean, yeah, I say I mean, the same thing when I talk about my days. Yeah, yeah, no. Nah, I love, I love making all this. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, we ain't... We ain't um, Beating people up and all that no more. Yeah. And all that oh, place. the good old days. Yeah, the, <laughs> <laughs> the good old days were. That's, that's right. over with. Well, that's a shame. Yeah. Now listen, um, Sife, should we do this nine o'clock yeah. hour? All right. Well, when 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 can I want to see a Wu Block show? Come on. How do the we? Nineteenth. And we oh. at, where we at on the nineteenth? Um, Highline or something like that. I don't even know where is it at. Keep but I think it might be for Sneaker Pimp or something like that. But you know this is I mean? the one where y'all gonna be together. together. Yeah, we be together. Road, right? Yeah, man. We yeah, because yeah. yeah. in New York yeah, things change. And there is more people and, and yeah. different element. I want to see like I'm nah. gonna have to go on the road. I gotta go on the road. Nah, you going this? This right. Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Cincinnati show. That would be crazy. Be Cincinnati or something. Anyway. When we did have Rizzo in here, I asked him about the 20 year reunion that's coming up 
right. next year. And he said that he'd be down to do it if he could kind of be the mastermind behind the whole project. But I read somewhere that you were already working on some 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 stuff on your new joint. So is this happening? Work, like working on working on the new Woo album? Yes. That I was working on it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I wrote I wrote a I wrote a bunch of shit of beats that I brought to the table. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not from not not from RZA. So what he said? He, he said, said that he'd be willing to do it if he can mastermind the kind of the whole project. Right. You know. Yeah. He exactly. basically wants to exec it. You know, he wants right. to be the right. Yeah. I mean, yo, <coughs> man, he's the Abbott, yo. You he know did what call mean? himself the Abbott that penetrates, and I like that. Yeah, man, he's the Abbott. <laughs> you know what I mean? He, you know what I mean? He's like the king of the the whole the whole thing. So, you know, I mean, I'm I'm with it. I'm with it. But you agree it should it. go through. You think it should go through RZA if it's to be done properly. You think it should go through RZA. But ultimately. he did say some beats that were not RZA's. So is that a requirement to use his beats if it's gonna be it's on the discussion. album? It's a discussion. You know what I mean? Because uh, the last album, I wasn't feeling that. You know what I mean? Eight diagrams. Yeah, I didn't feel it. I didn't feel that. And RZA knows I didn't feel that. You know what I mean? And it's like uh, you know, cause the fans, I know what the fans. All right. Break it down. Take all my albums. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been probably like one of the most consistent niggas you know. No, I I always call you know Ghostface I mean? the most consistent artist of all time. <laughs> you know time. what I mean? Might not have sold millions, but, but you consistent. Know I mean? You know what I mean? Consistent. You know what I mean? It's all right. You can't really really say like, yo, he fucked up. You know what I mean? And I'm be I'm not, and I'm trying to tell brothers that, but in a way where it's not making the rest of the members feel uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Because you know mm -hmm. you still got egos in there. Like who the fuck this nigga? Coming here trying to regulate and shit like just because you know what I mean. So he's like, I deal, with, I gotta deal with a lot of mentalities. You know what I mean? Like, yo, man, nah, no, no. You know what I mean? So with the, at the eight diagrams, it was like, I didn't think that, I didn't think that was it. I didn't think that was it. You know what I mean? So I just don't want to lose our fan base. Mm -hmm. I want to make a comeback. I want to make a, as far as the Wu Tang, and I know we got the, the power impact. to do it. Yeah. And if you just give these motherfuckers the right shit one more time, nigga. It's like, yo, that'll last you for like another fucking 10 years. Well, dude. It's just like you said, Syph, about them being like a Zeppelin or a Beatles. Yeah. Late in their career. Yeah. That's when you turn in another Grammy winning album yeah. that everyone's yeah. like, oh my God, yeah. Rolling yeah. Stone cover And again. it's like, you don't got to do it because, you know, you had times brothers be like, yo, let's do it. We could do this in 30 days. No. It's like, not what, nigga? Mm. You going to do an album in 30 days? You know what I mean? It's like you have to look at this shit, man. You got to nurture this shit, man. Water this shit and look at it for real. What you about to get is you, nigga, we haven't had an album in I don't know when. So what's man. the rush for? You gotta be right. Don't rush. If we was doing this album, this, you know, like at the top of the year, if he's coming for November, then nigga, you got to start right now. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And, and you know, because you're going to get joints that's going to blow other joints out the frame. And you just pick them and make it real nice and fat. Don't overdo it. No double CDs and nothing like that. Nigga, if, like you said earlier, if it's fucking 10, 12, and it's like, yo, bung, then that's what it is, man. But you would, want, you would want your creative nine input songs. involved. Oh, I, 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 most definitely. And that's most the definitely. Way, okay. Most definitely. And that's just the, based on the feedback that I get from my fans of the music that I put out. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like me, Ray, you know, we've been dropping a lot of shit or whatever the case may be here and there. You know what I mean? But we relevant. We a lot relevant from our, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, the crew shit. RZA, RZA doing scores, mm -hmm. movies, you know what I mean, soundtracks and this and that. Though. But these fans, man, I know what these New York, Arizona <laughs> cats, Denver, I mean, everybody, I know I know what they want, yo. So it can happen, but there's going to have to be some discussion I mean, yeah, happening. and it's not really nothing that bad. It's just yeah. it's an agreement. Yeah. Well, no, it's really a commitment. Let's be honest. It's really everyone being like that you want, everyone has the same vision for it. Right. You're talking about the idea of making, not just good putting out music. another joint. No, not good. Classic. You want to yeah. put out the yes. joint that goes, oh my God, mm -hmm. this is why they're the greatest collective of all time. Exactly. And it's not that hard. No. The, it's it, not that hard. Now, now, you just got to take that criticism when a brother tell you like, yo, man, even me, yo, ghost, nah, that rhyme is not the rhyme, yo. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But what makes you think it's not the... <laughs> you got to tell me first. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> tell before me why. I, before I, before, before uh, I get... Hey, and listen, now, if I got six niggas coming at me like that... Then you know. Then it's like, okay, you know what? All right, let me stretch my arm out <laughs> and, 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 and try again. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'll keep trying until I get it right or else I'm not good on that cut. I don't make the cut. Mm. So what? I don't got to make the cut. <laughs> I mean, that's I don't got to make it. But you know what? Y'all handle that. 
Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and I got to bow out gracefully. That's very so we got to learn to how mm. to take that. If I say, yo, man, that's not it, and don't look at me. I mean, argue me down because that's your shit because a nigga don't like when you diss a nigga rhyme, though. You know what I mean? Because no. everything that come from you, and I, I spit a lot of bullshit here and there, whatever the case may be, for certain niggas. You know what I mean? But it's like, yo, when you talk about a nigga craft, certain niggas it get to. It'll get to you. Like, someone's like talking about your mother, nigga. You know what I mean? It's so, your baby. Yeah, exactly. You birthed that. So, if we got the understanding like that and we willing to come together, yo, we could work. We could go ahead and get that. Well, please try. That Nothing build. would make me happy. Please try. Nothing. To do that, man. Because that is, you know what? And I'll tell you the truth. That's one thing. That's one goal that's yet to be reached in hip hop. We see we keep seeing hip hop reach these new heights, right? Jay Z keeps reaching new heights. Everyone new keeps, heights. But a classic group, and I consider like we always say Wu Tang is kind of like the Beatles. To see them make their latter album, that 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 Rolling Stones album that came out in 1995, that still cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? Like right. Paul McCartney drops an album, everyone's right. like, oh shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That would be something that hasn't been done by a, a hip hip hop veterans yet. And right. it's not that y'all need it. You're good. Right, right, right. Great. Why not? Nah, add, it's like it's hip hop, nigga. You still doing shows, and you should still be doing music. Mm -hmm. Well said. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, give it to your people. Just, just do it, man. This, you, this is. It ain't like you fucking Kobe and them niggas, and you got to run up and down the court all fucking day, every yeah. day, to your joints, to you. You can't do it no more, or you a running back. No, you could run forever, nigga. This is this. It's <laughs> a <laughs> fucking mouthpiece, you know. You know what I'm saying, Sife? It's the fucking mouthpiece, man. Yo, Shoot man, that shit to your this. mouth, yo. die. Yo. You know what I mean? Yo. That's it. Just spit that shit, B. And you know, keep a clip, you know, and just but you gotta be in the loop too. Like when I got with this, when you know what I mean, when I be around him and I be seeing like these niggas just be dropping shit every fucking I never been to mixtape dude. I didn't really like it. I just wanna fuck <coughs> mixtape niggas up. You know what I mean? <laughs> but these niggas, they uh. drop. They just drop, Every, drop, drop, man, drop, I'm drop, tired. like freestyles, 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 freestyles. And now I know, man. like, you know what I mean? Because at the same time, a dude keep you out there and your voice is being heard. You know what I mean? Now, when you missing for fucking, like, damn, I ain't here from fucking just, you know, you got in four years and shit like, yo, what? It's like you lose fan base a little bit, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's like, yeah, man, lives. you got to really, like, you got to have, you got to, yeah, exactly. Motherfuckers love you, B. Yeah. This is your job, but so that, just but do it. Isn't that stress? Is that a little stressful, though? Like, for example, I always see you guys rock the bells. Yeah. You get to rock the bells. This is the last thing, then we got to wrap up. But you get to rock the bells, and you're coming in a situation where, let's be realistic, I, I'm not saying you don't have to work hard, yeah. but you, you're good. You, you make money. Right. You make money on shows. Your albums have, you know, even right. if they don't sell, even if the last <coughs> one didn't sell the way the one before did, you're making money. Right. And then you have guys who show up who are part of the crew, but listen, we know they're not putting out projects. Yeah. Right. And they're not performing as much. Yeah. Is, right. Does that ever put a... And don't there are people at different levels. Like there are guys like Master Killer, he's always working. Maybe it's right. not the same level, but he's working. Right. working. But then there's some working. guys who ain't working at all, mm -hmm. except right. for when they show up to, to do, do the Wu-Tang Wu show. Right, right, right. Is that stressful at all? Uh, uh, I don't know that you feel you mean, bad, uh, like you got a wad of cash in your pocket. Is that not necessarily like that for everyone? Um, I mean, you know, it 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 it, it depends. Uh, you know, it's like those are my brothers, man. What I want for myself, I want for my brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> so a lot of the things, like for instance, I might do a woo show. You know what I mean? And it's like you know, brother salaries be different. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I know if I don't go, if I don't commit. That show mm. might not go down, B. Right. And they might not get the check because, at all. Mm. Yeah, now I crush everybody's fucking feelings, you know what I mean? And, you know, and, and a lot of times I had to go in there, you know, just on some like, you know what, damn, these niggas, you know, because it was times I'm like, yo, fuck that shit. Them niggas giving me, trying to give me what? Nah, I ain't doing that shit. Right. But then I fuck it up for everybody, you know what I mean? And they need so, that, right. Right, because niggas got families to feed too. So a lot of times <laughs> with me, I'll fuck around and take the L, you know what I mean? I'll be like, yo, you know what? I'll look at it and flip it like, I'm with my brothers at the end of the but day. But that's what's always been cool is because... I'm with my brothers. Y'all yeah. do always show up pretty yeah. much every year yeah. and do a bunch of shows where right. I know everyone's getting paid. And that's right. dope. That's just dope. Right. Yeah, and yeah. it's dope for the fans. We love yeah. to see everyone. Right. Back in the day, Syph, do you remember the ultimate treat that it would be? Only one time, once or twice, that I get to see Wu-Tang with Dirty. Because back in the day, when you'd see Wu, it would be, who's showing up? Like, I don't know who. Is Dirty going to be at this show? 
Because I saw you guys a handful of times in the early days. Right. I think I only got to see Dirty once or twice. That was part of the adventure. In the late, in the latter days, it's everyone. If you go to a Wu Tang right. show, yeah, it's pretty much pretty much. Like yeah. last time I was at one and someone didn't show, it was a big deal. It was like someone. It was fucked up that they what weren't they do? there. They just do right. ghost, um, They do Dirty. Yeah, verse. everyone rhymes Dirty. Now it's part of their routine. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, now yeah, they all yeah, know. Dirt's it's, in it's, there. Yeah, dirt's he's in he's there. on the show. He's in there. They do with singles. He's on the show. He's in there. He's in there. Couple of joints, and then and then and then you might be at University of Maryland doing a show, and all of a sudden after the show's over, you see Capadonna back at the dorm hanging out with chicks from the show. Right, <laughs> Yo, exactly. Cap was always at Maryland though, but then yeah. he had, right, I yeah, yeah, he's out there. Yeah, he out there. Goddamn right, I fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. <laughs> You're right. You're right, V. Ladies and gentlemen, Woo Blocks out. What day? It's Tuesday. It came out. It's out. Woo Blocks out right now. Stores now, yo.